All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Capricorns, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Capricorns, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Devil, Capricorn Energy, in the reverse. And we've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy, in the reverse. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Capricorns. We have the World. And we have the Moon, Cancer, Piscean Energy. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Clarity, guidance, support messages. Eight of Swords in the reverse. <coughs> Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So we've got the King to the Queen here. We have a True Pair on the board. Ooh, okay. And we have the Two of Wands. Under the deck, we've got the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy. So let's see here, Capricorn. Okay. So we have the Eight of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So clearly here, Capricorn, you are walking away from something. You just have lost feeling. You're falling out of love. You just don't want to work on this anymore. With the Devil card in the reverse and the King of Cups, even if you still have love for somebody, you're able to control that emotion at this point. You've lost all types of, like someone here I feel has lost power over you, Capricorn. Um, you're, you don't you no longer feel bound to somebody or something you no longer have that passion for them that lust for them that drive for them um I, I just feel like maybe you're seeing that the situation is toxic and even though maybe you do have feelings for this person that it's just time to release with the world card in the ace of cups i do see something ending and new love coming in okay and new love coming in with the moon card though and the queen of swords um you may not be so trusting of new love right now okay um i feel like you're you're coming out of something toxic capricorn so you may not be um super quick to give your heart you're a little guarded you're you know still a little bit on edge when it comes down to new love but the opportunity is there if you want it okay what I am seeing here with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse and the Eight of Swords in the reverse, I feel like you're going to release yourself of a situation here, Capricorn, even if it, it, it means financial loss. So if you're, if you're wanting a divorce, even if it means child support, losing your house, whatever it is, you're going to walk away from something, even if it means that it's going to cost you uh, materialistically or financially. With the Queen of Cups and the Two of Wands, I feel like you're looking for love here Capricorn you're looking for a loving committed relationship not something toxic you're looking for your other half so I don't know what it is that you're leaving behind right now but you just didn't feel like it was there do you understand and I feel like you're you're still a little scorned from it you're still a little burnt from it but the opportunity for new love is there. You may be choosing this Queen of Cups. So this new love may be in your life right now, Capricorn. And you're like, you know what? This is where I want to go. So you choose the Queen of Cups, which is the right decision because we've got the King to the Queen of Cups here. Okay, so you may be closing out a toxic cycle. You may be closing out a karmic cycle, all right? But you're you're moving towards your true counterpart. You're moving towards your true person. So if you haven't met them yet, they're coming in. And, you know, because that's, that's the vision that you see for yourself. Um, or maybe you have already met them and you're going to get a divorce here or or break up a connection regardless of how much it costs or what it you know what it whatever loss you have to take you'll take it to go towards this new love tell me about the eight of cups here for capricorn 
Six of Cups in the reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. The Lover's card in the reverse, Gemini energy. Tell me about the Devil in the reverse. Two of Wands in the reverse. Tell me about the King of Cups. Ooh, oh, oh, oh my gosh. King to the Queen of Cups, Capricorn. Look, Queen of Cups right here. Yeah, so Capricorn, I feel like you're leaving something behind, something that has very negative and ugly memories to it. I feel like you don't want to work on a connection anymore. I feel like you are making the decision to leave toxicity behind. You have met a soulmate, and you're going to leave everything behind for them. Tell me about the world card. We've got the Five of Swords and Temperance, Sagittarian Energy. Capricorn, you're ready for peace in your life. You're coming out of a place of a lot of drama, a lot of mind games, a lot of just, you know, negative energy. And with Temperance here, I do see peace coming in. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Eight on top of the Ace of Cups. So we've got the Ace of Cups twice and the Three of Wands. So Capricorn, what you've been looking for is here. It's here. Tell me about the Moon card. We've got the Two of cups and the ten of swords there is clearly an ending taking place here capricorn so that this beautiful new soul tie can come in tell me about the queen of swords i feel like with the ace of pentacles and the three of cups um i don't really see that you're interested in reconciling with this past person um if they come in to reconcile and another thing is i feel like you're cutting out the old because you want to be with this third party you want to move towards um having joy in your life celebrating life you understand we've got the um death card and the chariot card under the deck you're making huge life changes here capricorn um and they're going to be victorious changes this decision that you make is going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, as I said, Capricorn, this may cost you some money. Okay, it may cost you some money. Um, you know, you invested in something, it didn't work out. So it may cost you a little bit of money to get out of this. You may lose financially a little bit. Um, Eight of Swords in the reverse, but you can't wait anymore. You need to free yourself. You Maybe, you know, the fi financial aspect of it all is what was holding you back, but you can't wait anymore. Queen of Cups and the Fool card. Aries Energy. You want to go take this leap of faith and start a new life with this Queen of Cups. Two of Wands and the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Uh, Leo Sag Aries energy. Um, you've lost passion for something here. You're you're losing passion for one thing and wanting to take a leap forward with another thing. So Capricorn, clear as day, there's an ending here and a beautiful, prosperous new beginning happening with someone new. And this new love is your true counterpart. This new love is your true counterpart. Your true. Ooh, okay. A new romantic. Okay. 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 <sighs> A new romantic cycle begins. Enough said. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please, Spirit. Clarity, guidance, love messages. We've got second chakra. You are so passionate about this person. So there's a sense of being rooted with this person. There's a sense of healing with this new person. And there's also a lot of sexual chemistry between you guys. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. <coughs> We've got increase. We've got letting go. Yeah, see, you're, you're letting go of one thing to increase and move towards something else. Okay, and look under the deck, happy success. So I feel like this is really going to benefit you big time, Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn. Yep, yeah, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Tell me about Capricorn, please. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning into your life. And we've got flirt. So when you free yourself, this person may try to come around and reconcile. I don't feel like you're taking the bait. I don't feel like you're going to go for it. Um, yeah, release your ex in the reverse. So the person that you're leaving behind here, um, Capricorn, doesn't want you to go. They're going to come in and pull out all the stops, flirting, sex, you name it. They're going to come in so that you don't let go of them. But I feel like the chemistry just isn't there anymore with this ex. You're releasing it. You are releasing it. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with, some, with, with one another. 
and playfulness. There is someone here that you have found, and I do feel it's new love, someone that you can open up your heart to, someone that you can have a good time with, and that's who you're moving towards, okay? All right, guys, I love you and take care. Bye.